Hi, I'm Mr. Dartmouth. It's Christmas break and I'm kicking it with my San Francisco homies. Well, right now I'm visiting an old high school friend in his kind of unbelievably depressing bachelor pad in Berkeley. So if you hear typing or grunts, that's him playing WoW. So I've been getting a lot of sex questions, especially about, you know, what it's like to be a dominatrix, and I will get there, my friends. But first, I have something I need to get off my chest now that I'm off campus. So indulge me. Let me go too far just this once. Welcome to the Tool Academy. What the f bro? I need to dedicate a little time to really the inspiration for this vlog. Our friends, imaginary, super shitty, abstinent Christian roommates. And you know, they say they're abstinent, but really, no one would fuck them anyway. Like, you would die before you got that drunk. So it's sort of like if a tree falls in the woods. Now my friends, roommates are not at all the typical Dartmouth tools we saw in the homecoming webisode, but they are the worst people in the world. I would literally kill these bitches if it were as easy as like here, eat this, like you're fat, eat it. And you know, I am not a violent person. I mean, okay, I'm a dominatrix, but I never hit anyone that wasn't paying me to do it. I've tried so-called anger management, and Franny can back me up on this. I'm a dedicated student of Anusara Yoga. I've achieved a psychedelic oneness with nature. But I still want to fuck these bitches up. I can't get over wanting to punch them in the twat. So. Let me explain. The instant they move in, a giant TV appears in the living room and the fat one begins living in front of it, mooshed across the couch, eating microwave food and watching any and all tween programming. The not so fat one brings her entire family over to hang a wall sized collage about God in our living room. You know, she's really the Christian one, I think. You know, the kind who secretly thinks all of her friends are going to hell. Then they report us for violating the substance-free policy because we had a glass of wine with dinner. A glass of wine. Actually, hold on. They take down all of my art because it suggests the human form. Then the fat one replaces the wall space with the tackiest, most hideous shit you have ever seen. I took clips with my phone that I'm itching to show you, but I can't because, um... <sighs> They're uh, imaginary. Imaginary Jonas Brother fans. Or disciples. Then one night, I guess I left my door cracked just a smidge, and my ferret Madeline got out into the hall for a couple minutes before I grabbed her. These bitches actually reported my ferret because they suck that much. I was fine and had to move Madeline, the light of my life, into a friend storm. You know what it really is? There are a lot of people who suck. In private. But these girls try to enforce their sucking on us and make our lives suck as much as theirs. And you know what? It kind of worked. Like, my libido took a huge hit living with them. And Franny said the same thing. I mean, they just, like, emanate anti-sexy. And... Oh my god, once the fat one even sent Lady Stash Tool, the community director, who happens to literally have a degree in homemaking from a Christian university, pictures of a cork that she found and showed her this website. So daddy got me written up for drinking again. Now I just want to make it clear, I am not trying to hate on fat people. Like, fat can be fucking fierce. It's just like... When they're like, soul is fat, I think it's fair game, you know? <sighs> Maybe those trays upon trays of cookies she bakes help fill the void in her vagina. I don't know. Oh, and Lady Stash Tool, this isn't juice and your face still sucks. So, Lady Stash Tool, Fat Tool, Not So Fat Tool, <sighs> I'm sorry. You're just tools. Bye.